Have you noticed that the majority of the parameters that you're sending with your events aren't really collected or shown in GA4? Even if you can see them when you debug those events. I'm Bree E. Anderson, and today we are going to be talking about custom dimensions in Google Analytics 4, how you can collect them and pass them, test them, and even make sure that you can see them in all of your reports. Let's get to it. So when you're in Tag Manager and you're creating an event, uh, obviously you want to use a GA4 event, make sure you have your configuration all set up um, and have the triggers and name everything correct. Now, if you want to pass along specific parameters, you can do that under the event parameters. Here you can see that we have um, the lead form. So this is what kind of form is it? And this is a lookup table that looks at different form numbers and matches it to um, a value, but you can add as many of these parameters as you would like. So we could pass things like click text, we would name it here. This is a very important note. If you want to be able to use this dimension in Google Analytics 4, it has to basically nothing other than underscores and letters. Okay, so we're gonna have our underscores and letters here. So we're gonna say click text and we're gonna save. And when we preview this, so we're gonna go to the website and I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, for, let's see, get out of here. Get the free guide here. And when we go to Tag Assistant, we'll see the event was fired. We're gonna go to that event and see, okay, guide subscribe was collected. Now, when we go to analytics, we're going to see the same thing that this guide now in Google Analytics 4, you can debug all of your events, which is essentially just watching the tests come through. You're going to go to admin and under the property column, you'll see debug view. Once we come in here, it's going to show you everything you've debugged or tested with Google Tag Manager. Here we can see that generate lead event did come through and we'll see all of the parameters. So you can see they're all lowercase, all use underscores, and we'll see that this lead form did come through. Guide subscribe. Okay, so we know this is collecting and we know it's working. However, if we wanna be able to see it in our reports, um, in Explore, or if we pulled everything into Looker Studio, we actually have to tell Google that this is something we wanna retain. You can see that a lot of things are collected here, but it's only retained if it's defined as a dimension in Google Analytics 4. So this is how you're gonna do that. You're gonna go to Admin, and you're going to go to Custom Definitions. Here you have the option to create custom dimensions or custom metrics. We're gonna create a custom dimension. So create custom dimension, and this is going to have all of your event parameters. See that how this one's incorrect. It says video title. If I click this, it'll give me a warning. It says it can only use letters, numbers, and underscores, and it must start with a letter. So we can't use this. So if we were passing this dimension, it's not going to be helpful because we can't save it anyway. If we are going to want to collect the parameter called lead form. Um, so that's the parameter. We're going to call it lead form and then we would save it. And so now anytime this parameter is collected, it's going to be stored in Google Analytics 4 and we will be able to create reports using that dimension. So remember, just because you're passing the information along to Google Analytics 4 doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to have access to it, even if you can see it in the debug view. If you want to see all of the parameters that you are passing along in Google Analytics 4, you're going to have to define it as a custom dimension using the admin panel. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment and I'll help any way I can.